guys, Stacy Burke here, and it's a Monday, so it's time for a grocery haul. For you, it's a Monday. For me, it's a Tuesday, the last Tuesday of November. So you'll probably see this on the first Monday of December. <laughs> so it's a nice day today. I thought it was just something kind of comfortable, kind of warm, kind of cool at the same time. I'm really into cropped hoodies right now. I just, I don't know why, I just like crop hoodies. Um, and then I have like this chartreuse or something bright neon uh, tank top underneath. And then my um, tie-dye leggings and my Skechers. And yeah, it's a nice day today. My face is finally clearing up. I had some eczema problem or something, something's going on where my face was peeling and it was dry and I have little red bumps. I still kind of have little red bumps and I can even feel it right here. It's kind of like rib for her pleasure. <laughs> so it's like, um, I don't know what's going on, but I've been w using like anti-cortisone cream on it. So that helped a lot. And um, I was able to put some makeup on today because I wasn't wearing makeup for a while and I just wanted to air it out. Plus it would sting every time I put something on it like so except for the cortisone cream so that's what i've been doing so anyway let's go to the grocery hall and yes i spent over a hundred dollars i don't know when i'm going to go back to normal i don't know if we're ever going to go back to normal because i used to buy all this stuff for under 100 remember the days when it was like 75 dollars at the most no over 100 but let me show you what i got let me show you my boyfriend's coming over so um I'm going to try to hurry this up a little bit, a little bit, not too much. Don't worry about it. I went and got bell peppers. I haven't, they, they kind of look kind of funky. They look like they're already starting to die on me, but I love my little mini peppers. I haven't had them for a long time, but I bought some vegan shredded steak that's still in the freezer. And so one of these days I want to make some vegan fajitas. And of course with fajitas, you've got to have mixed peppers. Um, with the onion, which I already have. So, um, so I got that. So when I feel like having my vegan fajitas and you saw this taste test and I, I love this. So most, I think this is like four something. I don't remember it like three ninety nine or four something. And they're in the grocery aisle, not in the refrigerated section and they're plant-based Mexican food. If you go to Somos, food.com or something like that and they have all these different plant-based things and this and I think I got the pea because it's pea protein pea cadillo or some pea cadillo I don't know I don't know it was like kind of play on words but this is a smoky chipotle mushrooms roasted tomatoes onions and spices and it's basically like you know like burrito filling filling or taco filling so the other one was so good. Oh, this one's less calories. The other one was, for the whole pack that I ate, was uh, two something, like almost 300 calories. This, the whole pack is 150. This is a lot, ooh, this is a lot better. So I can't wait to try that. So stay tuned for a taste test on that one. Uh, put my glasses on. And since my boyfriend's coming over, I don't know what to make him. This one looked good. This is not vegan though. It was next to the vegan, so I thought it was, but I've been wanting to make eggplant parmesan, but I don't know how to make it. Like one of these days I do want to make a vegan eggplant parmesan because I've been craving it. Okay, I bought a, bought a bunch of panko stuff that I still haven't used. Remember that time I bought a bunch of panko breading and stuff because I thought it would just bread everything, buy a bunch of vegetables and just air fry them. I haven't done that yet, but, um, this is uh, Michael Angelo's eggplant parmesan, and so he might like that. I'm going to ask him when he gets ho gets home, <laughs> when he gets here. He lives, he doesn't live here, but when he gets here, because we only see each other once um, a week. I'm going to see if he wants this, because this sounds yummy, eggplant parmesan, or uh, th this I remember is really good too. This is vegetable lasagna. It's vegetarian lasagna. It's not vegan, but it's vegetarian lasagna. Um, and so this is really good too, as I remember. And this is just, uh, I think it's Vaughn's, their, their brand. My eyes are, are like sticking together. My eyelashes are sticking together. So I got that, so he might want that. So those are his choices, um, what he would like for 
dinner or lunch or whatever. And then I got some more corn tortillas. They didn't have any yellow corn tortillas. I like yellow better. I, I'm assuming these are white corn tortillas because I always run out of corn tortillas. I eat them a lot. So, and I make lots of things for them. And also I make chips with them sometimes. So I got some corn tortillas. I think this was $1.99. I'm trying to remember the price of this art. And they still have candy corn, of course, left. There you go, Felix, go play in the back. And my boyfriend loves candy corn. So I got more candy corn for him. Cause, and I like it in my, my um, in my popcorn, I, you know, but I usually save it, but I got some more uh, candy corn for him. And since I found out he loves French onion, I went ahead and got him the good stuff. This is not vegan, but he's not vegan. So uh, this has dairy in it. This is Dean's French onion dip. So he could dip, uh, he could get into the good French onion instead of the, the Fritos brand. So I went ahead and got him the good French onion dip. It's also good, goes good with the veggies. And then I like this, uh, this, I tried, I, I thought I would try this assortment. This time of year, I love peppermint bark. I love dark chocolate and peppermint. And a lot of people don't like the dark chocolate, but this is a combination. This is Gardelli, <coughs> excuse me, my voice is like, allergy season has been really rough on me. <clears throat> and so my voice is like gone. Um, it has caramel, what is it? milk chocolate and caramel, peppermint bark, and then gingerbread cookie squares. So I thought, oh, that looks interesting. So, um, and usually when I buy one of these, like they last all year long. Cause I, I very, like I, I pick at them uh, very, like just now and then when I get a craving for them. So um, they usually last me for a year. <laughs> we'll see if they last me a year <laughs> this time with my chocolate Timson on the loose. But, um, this is my boyfriend. So uh, I would call him Chocolate Simpson because he loves chocolate. So uh, let's see if this lasts me for a year. <laughs> kind of doubt it. <laughs> um, and for my mimosas, my, 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 my mimosas, I've been using orange juice. I've been going to the liquor store just buying a lot more money for orange juice. And I've been craving it, but now I'm over the craving. And so I'm going to go back to different juices for my, 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 my mimosas. And so I thought I would get cranberry juice. This is 100% juice, no sugar added, but it's cranberry juice because I don't like the cocktail. I don't. I don't want to pay a lot of money just for water, like cranberry flavored water. If, if I want, if I'm going to pay money, I want 100% cranberry juice, but I don't want the sugar. So that's what I got. I got cranberry juice with no sugar. And then I I wanted to get the sugar cookie creamer again, but I'm like, okay, two twice in a row. Let's get the pump. Let's go back to the pumpkin spice. So I got some more pumpkin spice. And then next week or whenever I go again, I think I'm going to get back to the sugar cookie because I think that's my favorite. So I got pumpkin spice and I've been craving mushrooms. So I got some um, mushrooms because I love like to make my own pizzas. I love mushrooms and, and bell peppers, like assorted peppers and onion. I love that combination. So I got that. And of course I got more cheese because I sold mozzarella, but I was running low on cheddar, vegan cheddar cheese, of course. Um, okay. And then, oh yeah, well, I got, I've been trying to get back into the wine and this is, I, this is cheap wine. This is like, and I bought six bottles, not of this, but I bought six bottles of a wine type of beverage. So I got 30% off. So the price was really good. This is Yellowtail Big Bold Red. And my Vons has it, uh, if you if you get the six pack, it's $4.44. Like it's under $5, right? And it's good, especially if you use an aerator. If you use like an aerator, it does, it does help a little bit. But after a few glasses, you don't notice. So maybe the first glass you use the aerator and the second glass, it doesn't matter <laughs> because it breathed anyway. But anyway, this is my go-to. Uh, yellowtail the Cabernet Sauvignon sometimes is like that too and I like it because it's a screw cap so uh, so you can so not only is it easier to open but it's easier to close it back up like you know I'm not gonna finish the whole bottle I mean that's a lot um, so I could I could tighten it back up and it and it stays fresh so I like that part I like this screw on cap 
And so I got three bottles of that, and then I got three bottles of, they finally have the Brute Andre. So yay, so I got three bottles of my Brute Andre for my mimosas. So, so I'm trying to get back on the wine kick and trying to wean myself off the whiskey, which I still love whiskey, don't get me wrong. Now that eggnog can be around, I'm gonna have eggnog and whiskey and stuff like that. But I'm just trying to get back and just, uh, you know, cause uh, more of a sipping, kind of slowing my roll, you know, just to slow my roll a little bit. Um, and then I got more canned cat food. I got the shreds, I got the, the usual suspects, shredded with ocean whitefish and tuna and whitefish and sardines. And then of course, salmon and then chicken fillets and turkey cheese dinner. I think it's a favorite, the turkey and cheese. I mean, how could you go wrong with cheese? So I don't blame them. And that's more chicken and I think, and then that's more turkey. And then I got this because I do have candles, but I have pumpkin and spice candles. And so I got, so I needed a Christmas candle and the pumpkin one is almost out. So I'm like, you know what? I got a Christmas, Christmas, Christmas spice candle and it smells like, you know, Christmas spice. So, um, it'll liven up and I did decorate. You'll probably see a video. I'll, I'll, I'm, I've been doing a little here and there, but I put up all the decorations. I hung up all the stockings. I have the Christmas tree. I have the, my three story Christmas tree up, um, and stuff. And, um, I just decorated the whole house. It's all decorated and all ready for the festive, all ready for the, the Christmas festivities. So I can't wait to light that candle. And I think that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. And there's my receipt. That is my grocery haul, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm going to go ahead and put this all away and get ready because my boyfriend should be here pretty soon. I'm going to brush my hair. Brush my hair. I'm trying to check myself. But um, yeah, so I didn't really need much. I still have a lot of like, I don't have any leftovers for Thanksgiving. That tur that turned out really great. My vegan Thanksgiving. Just go, you'll see videos of that on my Instagram or my YouTube. It was always really yum, and I really love the leftovers. I really love the stuffing. I love everything. I love everything about Thanksgiving. I think it's my favorite holiday because it's just a simple dinner. It's it's cozy. I like the decor. Uh, I like the weather, except for the wind. Um, so I think it's my favorite. It's, it's less stressful than getting gifts and stuff like that, you know? I mean, don't get me wrong. I love buying gifts and I love getting gifts. Don't get me wrong. But it's like the pressure of trying to find the perfect one. And then I think we just waste a lot of money sometimes on getting frivolous stuff. I'm just, I, I'm just the person, if I go out, which I don't go out very often, if I do go out, if I find something, I get it and I get it for them. And if they want to do that to me, they can do that for me. But it's it's really pressure. It's pressure when you have a day and then you got to go with all those people to go shopping and you're trying to find the perfect gift. And and then just to buy something, just to have a gift, just for the fact of having a gift, I think it's wasteful money. And the person might not even like it. But I don't want to poo-poo. I don't want to poo-poo on everything. I mean, some people love that, but I just, I don't know. I'm just a little more frugal. I'm just more frugal. All right, well, I'm going to put all this stuff, stuff away and get myself together um, so I could maybe help my boyfriend decide which entree he wants for dinner. All right, tell my six cadets and all my briquettes. I hope you have a groovy day. Until next time, peace.